Lighting a bonfire at night keeps you warm and keeps wild animals away. To me, you're just like a bonfire. <laughs> Too abstract? All right, let me put it more directly. I think of you as a good friend. Sino is truly outstanding. Absolutely a worthy heir to Hermanubis' power. As General Mahamatra, he has the utmost reverence for knowledge and wisdom. If the Academia and the Temple of Silence do start working together again, I'll take comfort in the fact that he's there. Oh yeah, and another great thing about Sino? You know the way he talks? It's just... <laughs> so funny. Tainari's made of strong stuff. I only found out after the fact that he doesn't cope well with the desert climate. Never would have guessed from how he performed in the Rite of Duels. I was also surprised when he sent me a letter inviting me to visit Gandharaville, saying it would be a good chance to meet some of Sino's friends. Are those guys always such a hoot with their jokes? Dinner with them must be hilarious! <laughs> I can't wait. I saw those two at the tavern once. And another time at the cafe. Actually, I think I saw them once at the Grand Bazaar, too. The architect guy? He's always talking in a hushed tone. I guess he doesn't want people to hear, but, uh... Yeah, okay, it's not like I purposely listen in. It's just something about those two guys hanging out together. <laughs> you just can't look away. Who is that guy, anyway? A foreign exchange student or something? He has a pretty incredible hat. Never seen anything like it. I tried to get a closer look once, but then I blinked and he was gone. Shame. I won't let him get away next time, though. I also hear he has some pretty interesting ideas. <laughs> Gotta have a chat with him sometime. Flame Mane. <laughs> Everyone in the desert knows that name. The Aramites aren't exactly saints, as I'm sure you know, but Dia's one of the few solid and dependable ones out there. If you ever want to explore the Great Red Sand, Dia's the second best guide you could ask for. First best being me, obviously. <laughs> Have you ever experienced Candace's hospitality? She cooks very generous portions. Even I could barely finish. So long as you're on the receiving end of her hospitality and not her wrath, you'll live a long and happy life. It's so rare to meet someone even more chummy than me. One minute I was taking a stroll near the academia, the next minute she'd taken me on as a student and was insisting on giving me a tour. She gave me a real fright though, because she said that if I joined Haravatat, I'd get the 20 Tongues Language Learning Package, mastery of all 100% guaranteed. I asked around and it seems like that's just an in-joke among academia students. There is no 20 language graduation requirement after all, but I don't get it. How is that funny? It's only going to put people off studying there. I usually can't stay still for more than a few minutes, but Zubair Theater is one place I don't mind just standing and watching while Nilu dances on the stage. It's a rare skill to be able to bring people such a sense of peace. Hello, hello! I'm Sethos. What can I do for you? Actually, you know what? This seems like more of a sit-down conversation. Come with me. I know a good place. If you're always asking why, you end up thinking yourself into a corner. Sometimes it's better to let go. Do you hear that? Something's going on over there. I'm gonna go check it out. Early bird gets the worm. There's a lot of very fascinating people in the academia. Kinda makes me want to go study there. Oh, uh, no umbrella for me, thanks. It hardly ever rains in the desert, so I'm gonna enjoy this while I can. No, no, no! Quick, let's get to lower ground! <sighs> quick, quick, quick! Let's pick up the pace! Jogging will warm us up! <laughs> the weather's so perfect, it'll be such a waste not to go camping. How does fishing in an oasis sound? Have you ever tried drawing in the sand? From up high, it makes for an incredible sight. But you need to pick somewhere less exposed to the wind. Good morning. Want to join me for breakfast? I'm going to fix some shawarma wraps. I've been craving them since last night. It's tempting to have a coffee at this hour, but it'll ruin your afternoon nap. The desert's a pretty lifeless place during the day. <sighs> but you can't beat the view of the stars at night. <sighs> I'm going to hit the hay. I want to catch the sunrise tomorrow. Some of my elders say I'm 
difficult to control, like a wild animal. I actually don't disagree with that, but don't you think it's kind of an issue that they want to control how other people think in the first place? To be honest, being a leader is a little stressful, especially in the Temple of Silence. But after all the years I spent with Grandfather, I'm at least clear in my own mind about the areas where I cannot compromise. After the right of duels, and having been given the chance to make so many new friends, I now know the direction I want to take the Temple of Silence in from here on out. Don't worry. I won't mess it up. When you approach someone while intending to ingratiate yourself with them, it often makes for a stilted conversation. It's much easier to build up a rapport by just hanging out and talking about whatever. Lighting a bonfire at night keeps you warm and keeps wild animals away. To me, you're just like a bonfire. <laughs> Too abstract? Alright, let me put it more directly. I think of you as a good friend. When desert people receive a vision, everyone will claim it's a blessing from such and such a god, depending on their faith. Watching them get into an argument over someone else's vision about who's stronger out of Lord Hermanubis and Lord Sobic is a guilty pleasure of mine. If you're ever traveling in the desert, journeying by night is a good choice. It does get very cold, but you don't get as dehydrated as you would under the harsh sun. Putting on a few extra layers is way easier than spending half your journey time looking for a water source. I don't know where morning flowers got their name. It's quite an evocative image, though. Maybe somebody saw one wilting in the sunlight and thought it looked like a person hanging their head in sorrow. You got questions? You've come to the right person. On the off chance I don't have the answers, I can ask around and help you find out. If you have any equipment or tools that need repairing, I can help you with that. Uh, what's my job? Well, I'm an unemployed vagrant, obviously. I wouldn't have the time to be such a handyman otherwise, would I? I like going on hiking trips. I always map out my route, pack a bag, and pick a good day. I enjoy having it all carefully planned out. Of course, you gotta leave some flexibility in your schedule too. You might make a new friend along the way. I always have a great time at the Grand Bazaar. I like to pick a bunch of different herbs and spices to mix with some freshly grilled meat. I never make a note of the exact combination of ingredients, though, so I usually end up with one-off recipes. What do you think? Any interest in trying one of my limited edition, one-time-only delicacies? I've lived in the Temple of Silence for as long as I can remember. And to be honest, I've never had many of my own decisions to make. I'm still not sure if withstanding the power of Hermanubis was a blessing or a curse, but it definitely gave me a higher purpose in life. There's a million things you can regret in life, so I'm just happy I was able to bring that one situation to a close. I'm sure Grandfather will rest in peace, knowing that I got to become the leader of the Temple of Silence, and that Hermanubis' power has finally found a home. I get bored when I'm inside for too long. I always like exploring the great outdoors, whatever the weather might be like. You have to be fully prepared before you venture out on a trip, especially when you're going somewhere you haven't been before. The first time I spent the night in the rainforest, I didn't realize that I should have brought a waterproof ground sheet. Ugh, <laughs> that was a miserable night. I like mixing spices, but only because it makes meat taste better. It's a means to an end. Green vegetables are nice to look at and all, but eating them? <laughs> Mmm, mmm, mmm. I'm kind of a big eater. Hope that's okay with you? Mmm, not bad. What's the recipe? I'll take some on my next hiking trip. Mmm. Mmm. Nope, I can't really taste anything. Let me try some more. You know, your hair would look amazing if it was done up in a desert dweller style. How about kicking off the next year of your life with a new hairdo, huh? If you're up for it, just leave it to me. You'll look glamorous, I promise you. <laughs> this is your training regimen, huh? Interesting. Wow, so this is what three consecutive days of reading feels like. 
Amazing. I feel like I could sprint from Aru Village all the way to the mausoleum of King Deshret without breaking a sweat. I'm not even joking. You up for it? I had no idea you'd help me reach this level. Sometimes an over-reliance on ancient wisdom can make you forget the strength that you and your companions already have. Thank you for being there to remind me.